All right. In this next lesson, we're going to be talking about content strategy, which I know sounds boring, but we're going to try to make it as interesting as possible because it's so important. In this lesson, I'll show you an easy way to organize your videos to identify your most successful ones, spot some content gaps, and prioritize video production. If you're working on a YouTube audit, this lesson will help you understand the categories on your audit worksheet. So let's jump in. A quick note on success metrics. We can look at everything at any time period with YouTube and Google Analytics, but the things I am always keeping my eye on views and watch time, of course, so I don't even call that out uh, later in the, the lesson. But the other big ones I look at, especially to see how something is performing, engagement is any viewer taking an action like liking or commenting or sharing the video. Subscribers are people that are willing to come back and watch more of my content. Clicks are any of your cards or end screens that you've placed on your videos that take you to either other content or to your website. And conversions, that can be an email sign up, a product purchase, visiting a specific page. It's up to you. So depending on where my content falls in my strategy, I'll look at one of these metrics more so than perhaps other videos. That being said, as a business, any video you create should serve one of two purposes. I think growing an audience or driving a conversion. If you're just getting started, I urge you to put audience growth first and not just for alphabetical reasons. An audience comes back to watch and engage with your videos for free, technically. <laughs> Plus, when we cover advanced video advertising, you'll find it's much easier to clone an engaged audience you already have growing. The audience pyramid is broken into three sections I call push, pull, and pop content. I recommend brands start with a strong foundation of pull content. That's your evergreen educational content that pulls viewers in through search. Remember, YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google. Uh, and these videos act to build trust, show your expertise, and grow your subscriber base uh, on the platform. Push videos are your regularly scheduled videos to keep subscribers engaged or to get feedback from your audience. This could be an ongoing series or live video on YouTube and Facebook work well here too. Pop videos are your ads and brand videos that you want to make a big splash with. They generally have higher production and promotion budgets, but you don't need a lot of them. Another easy way to remember this is acting as an advertiser, an entertainer, and an educator. If you're just getting started and have a tight budget, I would focus all my attention on the education and advertiser content and get to the entertainment content later. It looks a little silly, but it works. Next to that is our sales funnel. They generally have three tiers and everyone calls them something different. Uh, at the top of the funnel is your awareness content. Uh, the video that works best are your brand videos, your ad videos, and your education content that was also helping build your audience. Middle of the funnel gets into that consideration phase and here you see videos like product videos, series videos, live videos, and demos really perform well. And lastly, at the bottom of the funnel are your videos right before the conversion point. So these could be brand videos to, or these could be testimonials uh, or customer stories to help back up uh, and show that they should go ahead and make that conversion. You want to make sure that you have enough content to fill these areas of your strategy. You can see that some of these videos do double duty and help build an audience while helping move customers along a sales funnel. Those are your brand videos, ads, ongoing series, live videos. So if you have a limited budget, these are great places to start. As part of this lesson, there is the content strategy keynote within the video marketing toolbox that you can grab as well so that you can actually plot out the videos that you have created or that you want to create on this audience building and sales funnel outline. A great brand example would be from Dollar Shave Club. The video's title are Blades Are Effing Great. And it does a great job of being this sort of pop content at the top of their audience building pyramid. This video made a, a huge splash, uh, so it does double duty as your top of the funnel video. And it did great at converting because it had a very simple call to action of visiting the website, which enough people did, I believe, to break the site <laughs> shortly after the launch of this video. So using this guideline and template, you can put together your current videos to spot any gaps of content. You may be missing a lot of content in that education or in that pull content category I find is usually missed out a lot on. You also might not have things for the middle of your sales funnel. Like you might be missing product videos or you know, there could be better ways to incorporate your products into a series, uh, which is uh, another example that I'll show, at least in this video, is of Will It Blend? They were just product demonstration videos done as an ongoing series, 
because of what they were actually blending. It was just pretty brilliant. So also as part of the video marketing toolbox, I've included a video ideas PDF that shows uh, all of these video ideas and some of these examples that you can pull from and sort of what areas of the audience building pyramid and sales funnel that they populate. So that way you can choose a couple that you want to create uh, or go after and see how that impacts your sales funnel and know how to measure and best optimize that video. I went ahead and opened up a discussion underneath this lesson. So if you have any questions about the content around building an audience or driving conversion and how my pyramid funnel system works, uh, please leave them in the discussion uh, box and I will be there to, you know, to help make sense of it.